just to settle. So if you'd like to come to lying on your backs with the soles of your feet together, knees dropping out to the sides, and you could have your hands to your belly or it's really nice to take your arms out and cactus arms, elbows out to the sides, palms facing up. It's a very open, lovely receptive way to settle. But like I say, you might prefer to take your hands to your belly. You choose what's right for you. And take a few moments now at the beginning of the practice to drop into your body. Having a check in with what you've brought with you to the mat in terms of physical sensations, but also energy, your breath. Any particular emotions that are lurking? Dominant thought patterns? Having a look at all of it and lovingly embracing it and just in welcoming everything in to your practice this evening. This is a stretchy practice today rather than a strong practice. You might or you might not be relieved to know. And take these moments to settle, to simply settle into the floor beneath you, a sense of air on your skin, Without any particular intervention, a sense of the quality and rhythm of your breath tonight. Feel your breath moving the body. Every breath in is a gentle expansion. And every breath out a letting go. Letting go inside your mouth, behind your eyes. Letting go in the pelvic floor and the lower belly. So you become so soft and so heavy, you may feel you're even melting through the floor. And inviting your choice of quality into the practice tonight. What quality would you like to practice with? Are you interested in release? Or are you interested in strength and stamina? You won't get too much of that. Or are you interested in the breath? Few more moments here. And then very gently using your hands to bring your knees together, soles of your feet on the floor. You can draw your knees in towards you and have a little roll around. And we're going to meet in an all fours position. So you could roll over to the side or you could rock from head to tail until you come all the way up. Making sure your knees are underneath your hips and your hands are underneath your shoulders. Beginning to take very gentle circles with the hips. Just circling to the front, to the right, to the back and to the left. 
You might notice how the weight moves from hand to hand, from knee to knee. And you can reverse the direction of those circles. Lovely. On the next breath in, lifting your right leg out behind you and lifting it a little. And as you breathe out, slowly and mindfully bring your knee in towards your nose and lift the front body into the back body. As you breathe in, lift your leg up behind you. And as you breathe out, bring your knee in towards the armpit, a little bit of a crunch for the sideways. And then breathe in, lift the leg up behind you. And as you breathe out, sweep it round to the left, pressing into your toes so that your heel pushes away. And look over your left shoulder at your heel. Lovely little stretch. And when you're next ready to breathe in, lifting your leg up behind you. And breathe out knee to nose. Draw your navel into the spine, push up the back of the ribs. And then breathe in, lift your leg behind you. And breathe out, knee to armpit. And breathe in, lift your leg up behind you. And breathe out, sweep the leg over to the left, pushing through the toes, pushing the heel away. Look over that left shoulder. And we'll do that one more time, breathing in, lifting up the leg. Breathing out knee to nose. This is engaging your abdominal core. And then breathe in, lift the leg. And breathe out knee to armpit. And then breathe in, lift the leg. And breathe out, take your leg to the left. Look over your shoulder, enjoy a little stretch. And then breathing in, lift the leg. And on the breath out, bring your knee back down. And take a moment to feel the difference between the two sides of the body. And we'll take those movements with the left leg. So when you're ready, breathing in, lifting the left leg up and behind you. And breathing out knee to nose. Push into the hand. Breathing in, lift the leg behind you. And breathing out, knee to armpit. Lovely. One more time, breathing in up behind you. And then sweep the leg to the right, press into the toes, push the heel away. Look over your right shoulder at that heel and push it away a little bit. Lovely. And then breathing in, lift your leg up. Breathing out, knee to nose. Breathing in, lifting it up. And breathing out, knee to armpit. And breathing in, lifting it. And breathing out, sweeping it to the right. Look over your right shoulder. Have a little push away with that heel. And then breathing in, lift your leg up. And breathe out, knee to nose. And breathe in, lift your leg up. And breathe out, knee to armpit. And then breathing in, lift the leg up. And breathe out, bring it round to the right. Have a little look over your right shoulder. And then breathing in, lifting up the leg. And breathe out, settle the knee down under the hip. And take a moment to feel the body here. And then bringing your forearms down to the mat, slide onto the front of your body. Slide onto the front of your body. And take your thumb and forefinger inside each elbow, so the opposite elbow, with your elbows pretty much underneath your shoulders. So you've got a little bit of a back bend here, a little bit of an opening across the chest and collarbones. And as you breathe in, really press into your knees and your elbows. Lift your bottom up and back so you melt your chest and your chin down. 
This is for you, Irene. And as you breathe out, you roll over your thighs and belly back into your sphinx. As you breathe in, you push into your knees and your elbows. Melt the chest down. As you breathe out, you gently come down over the front of the body. We're going to do that two more times. Breathing in, pushing into knees and elbows. Really melt the heart. Breathing out, come back. And then breathing in, pushing back. And breathing out, come down. Just taking a moment here in Sphinx to settle the shoulders. Maybe moving your hips, your bottom right from side to side. Before you're ready to push yourself back up to an all fours position. On the next breath in, begin to lift your right elbow and open your arm out fingertips to the ceiling. Might be quite awkward. And as you breathe out, threading the arm through to the left, shoulder and head come down. See how much you can find release in the shoulders and breathe in, open out to the right. And breathe out, come back down to the left. And one more time, breathing in, come up to the right. And this time you can come up on your left fingertips, find a little bit more room to open here, to twist, to enliven through the right fingertips. A couple of breaths. And then take another breath in. And as you breathe out, thread the arm through to stay down. So your weight comes down into your shoulder, the side of your head. And lifting your left arm up to the ceiling, Turning the thumb clockwise, you can bring the back of your hand over your lower back, reaching for the top of your thigh. And then looking over your left shoulder, only if you want to, lifting the left knee and sliding the left foot away. So your left leg is straight as you spin around a bit more to the back of your head. Looking right over that left shoulder. Left shoulder blade is really carving into the spine. One more breath in, and then on the breath out, bring the knee back, hand by the side of your head, and breathing in, opening out, and breathing out, dropping your hand down. And noticing the difference between the two sides of your body. Just got to tuck myself in a bit. Wonderful. And then let's take that to the other side. Breathing and lift the left elbow and open out up to your fingertips. And breathe out, thread it through to the right. And breathing and lifting and opening to the left. And breathing out, thread it through. Last time, breathing in and lift, come up onto your right fingertips and see if you can spin and find a little bit more space here in the left. Couple of breaths. And then when you're ready to exhale, thread it through. So you rest on your left shoulder, the left side of your head. And lifting up your right arm, turn the thumb anti-clockwise. Take the hand over your lower back, reaching for the top of your left thigh. And spin around to look over your right shoulder. Maybe slide the right foot away pushing the heel away. And this gives you a little bit of leverage to roll, a little, spin a little bit more and breathe. One more breath in. And then on the breath out, drop your hand, drop your knee. Breathing in, lift and open. One more time to the left. And then breathe out, come down. And take a moment to feel the body. And then we're going to roll over onto our bellies again for that sphinx movement. You're so taking your thumb and forefinger into each elbow, opposite elbows, 
Elbows underneath the shoulders. Hello, Will. <laughs> and then on the breath in, pushing into your knees and elbows, lifting your bottom. It's the same heart melting pose we did before. Really feel the opening in the armpits, the side of the ribs. And breathe out slowly, slowly bring yourself back. I love doing this. And inhale, push into your elbows and your knees, melt your heart. And exhale, gently come back again. We'll do it two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Very steady movement. Inhale. Exhale. So we end up down on our bellies and sphinx. Hope you're all doing okay at home. It's really lovely to practice with you. I really, really love it. I must, I hope you know that. And then from our sphinx, to bring our hands close to our ribs, push to all fours, curl the toes under, and come to a downward dog. Come straight to a downward dog, which might feel quite stiff if you weren't here for the gentle class. So take your time to walk it out. We'll take five more breaths here. Really, you can twist from side to side. You could bend one knee, both knees. Just familiarizing yourself with the length of your torso and with the level of opening of the backs of your legs. And how is the quality of your breath right now? Pushing the mat apart with your hands and your feet. So good, one more breath in, one more breath out. And then looking in between your hands and walking your feet forwards. So you're coming into a forward fold. Just allow your head to hang, allow your shoulders and your arms to hang for a moment, maybe swinging around a little bit. Lovely and loosen the neck and the shoulders. You can even shake your arms. Really lovely. And then bringing your hands to your hips and inhaling. And on an exhale, push yourself up straight spine. You feel your body standing. It's taken us about half an hour to get here. Make sure your feet are parallel about hip distance apart. And then breathing in, lift your arms up by your ears. And breathe out, settle into a little bit of a Utkatasana, chair pose. And we're gonna bring a little bit of spinal movement into this and obviously it's restricted. So as you breathe in, open your chest, swing your arms back. You're tilting the pelvis forwards. And as you breathe out, scoop forwards. And as you breathe in, open the front body. As you breathe out, sideways, navel to the spine, tailbone down. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. And then on the next breath in, push yourself all the way up. Reach, reach, reach for the stars and breathe out, arms down by your sides. And feel the legs, feel the upper body. Taking a breath in, lift your arms up again. And this time sit back in your chair, but with your back flat, parallel with the floor, reaching. And take a couple of breaths here, really reaching through your fingertips, shooting your sitting bones out behind you. And then inhale, come up halfway to kind of a true Utkatasana, and exhale here. Take another breath in, really reaching sideways, pulling back. And exhale, come down to that half Utkatasana. Take a breath in when you reach, reach, reach. And now on the exhale, push yourself all the way up. Take a breath in. And breathe out, arms down by your sides. Take a moment to feel the body now. And we'll do that one more time just because it's really enlivening, really strong. So breathing in, arms up by your ears. 
And breathe out, sit back and reach forward so your upper body is parallel with the floor. Feel this pose. Feel it right through to your fingertips and through the soles of your feet. And then breathe in and lift your arms up. Torso coming to a different angle and breathe out here. Keep tucking the tailbone under, sideways back. Breathe in and breathe out, coming halfway. And take a breath in and really reach, reach, reach. And then release your arms down, breathe out. Interlace your hands behind your back. Bring them up the spine a little. And as you straighten your legs and pull forwards, bring your arms with you. And that should feel really nice. You could have a slight bend in the knees if you like. And take three full breaths, just feeling that release and that opening around the shoulders. One more breath in. And then as you breathe out, lower your hands, slide them down the back of your legs, and then forwards, step back to a downward dog. Wonderful. We'll take a breath or two in this downward dog, noticing how this feels different after chair, after that Utkatasana series. You feel different in the ribs and the side waist. Lovely. On the next breath in, ripple forwards to plank. Should we see if we can take five breaths here? I want you to really be, create space in the pelvis. You feel a buoyancy in the pelvis but without lifting your bottom. And you push your hands into the floor. So you feel a push out the back of your ribs. And then long in the neck, push through your heels. Three more breaths. So good. Lift the sideways. One more breath, and now can you lower yourself slowly, straight as a stick, all the way down. So you release your toes, your forehead is on the mat, and your fingertips are about level with your shoulders, or a bit lower down. And take a full breath in and out through the front of the body. Feel the body softening on the exhalation. And can you press into your big toes, press into your pubic bone, and lift your hands about five centimeters off the floor. And you can actually actively draw the shoulder blades down the spine a bit here by drawing the elbows down towards the sideways. And now breathe in and without the hands pushing on the floor, peel your chest up and bring your head back at the last moment. And breathe out, come back down. So good for the back. We'll do it again. Breathing in peel up, so you're not going to come far. Breathe out, come down. Last time, breathe in, come up. But this time on the out breath, stay here, really pressing into your big toes. Drag your tailbone towards your heels. And with a breath in, lift your heart into your throat. And then come all the way down and rest your head on your hands. And allow your heels to drop out to the sides. Take some really lovely deep breaths into the front of the body. So this is completely different from the Ashtanga practice we did last night. Completely different. I really like to vary the classes. But I also love to hear from you about what works for you and what doesn't. So don't you know, don't hold back, please let me know, it really helps me. When I ask for feedback, it doesn't mean it all has to be good. Wonderful, and then bringing your hands by your ribs, lifting yourself to all fours, curling your toes under, and finding a downward dog and maybe feeling a difference now in this downward dog as well. Maybe recalling the quality that you invited into your practice. And with this downward dog, can you lift the tops of your thighs up and back, separating your sitting bones. And breathe as much space into your torso as you can possibly manage. Feeling each exhalation out through your heels.
Looking forwards now and on the inhale, step your right foot in between your hands and bring your left heel down. And just check the alignment front heel to back instep. And with the left arm breathing in, bring yourself up. And breathe out, settle into warrior two. Settle into warrior two. And let's move the hands a little bit. Use the hands to really open the shoulders in both directions. And in the class before this, I said to people not to cling with the toes, to even lift the toes off the floor. So that you're pushing down through the heels and the balls of the feet. And keep moving. So you internally rotate and then you externally rotate until you're ready to settle. You might want to just straighten that front leg for a moment, inhale. And then let's settle into our warrior two and stay. Let's stay. And find the breath and find the quality that you're looking for from the inside out. One more breath in. And then breathing out, bring your hands to your hips and straighten the front leg. And take a step in with the back foot. So just for fun. And only come into this pose as far as feels right for you. We're gonna come into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. So you're gonna take your right hand down to the floor beyond the right foot. You're gonna come up onto your left big toe. Make sure your right foot's lovely and straight, and then spring up, spring up. And it could be that your left hip is falling forwards and that's fine. You're finding balance in this right leg. And it could be that you peel open that left hip and really lift the left leg from the inside of the thigh, pushing through the heel. And it could be that you lift up the left arm reaching for the ceiling. And can you breathe and find softness and space here? Find length in the side body. Breathe. One more breath in. And then gently, elegantly, can you come back the way you came into warrior two? And take a breath in here and then breathe out straight and hands to your hips. Beautiful. And then we'll take those two poses to the other side. So left foot pointing to the left, right foot in 45 degrees. Quite a big stride here. And settle down into that left knee. Torso straight and then lift up your arms in that same movement with the wrists and the shoulders. So if you notice, my lower body is pretty um, still. But there's a fluidity to the upper body. And for me, that is a quality that's really good in warrior two. We don't want to be like rigid, rigid, rigid. But after a while, come to some stillness here and then breathe and soften and settle into your pose and feel it. Feel it. One more breath in. And then breathe that hands to your hips, straighten the front leg and step the right foot in a little bit. I need to step back so the plant. And then we bend into the left knee, take the left hand forwards. Make sure your left foot is straight. Come up onto that right big toe and you just spring yourself up. Either a little bit, the hip could be rocking forwards. Maybe you begin to peel open that hip, pull the right shoulder back, lift the leg, push through the heel, maybe lifting up your arm. And breathe here, finding your expression of half moon. It's easier to look down. 
you might want to experiment with looking up at your right fingertips if you can. Don't stop breathing. One more breath in. And then breathing out, floating back elegantly the way you came to Warrior Two. Wonderful. Take a breath in here. And then bring your feet to parallel hands to your hips. Feel the body. How alive do you feel now? I hadn't planned the half moon for this sequence. It just felt like a good thing to do. I hope you don't mind. And then take your toes out. Take a breath in, lovely and open up through the front of the body and settle into goddess. And take your time here, moving from heel to heel, lifting your toes, really open across the chest, sliding your shoulder blades down the spine. And breathe, lift your toes and push into your heels and pull your knees apart. Lovely, breathe fully. Drag the tailbone down. There's almost a little bit of a pelvic tilt here. One more breath in. And then on the breath out, push yourself up to star. Quite a relief. Take a breath in, really lengthening the side body. And on the breath out, we come back to goddess, but with hands inside the knees, or inside the thighs rather. And I'm, I'm allowing my shoulders to rock forwards and to hunch a little bit, that's fine. But I am pushing my legs apart. Take a breath in here. And then on the breath out, can you see I'm straightening the left arm, dropping the left shoulder, looking over my right shoulder. I'm really pushing the left leg away. Breathe in back to the front. And breathe out, straighten the right arm, look over the left shoulder, push the right leg away. We'll do that one more time to each side, breathe in. Breathe out to the right, straight left arm. Breathe into the center. Breathe out to the left, straight right arm. And now breathe into the center. And on the breath out, push through your heels and come to a star. And take a full breath in, really energizing from your feet out through your fingertips. And breathe out, come back down to your goddess. This time, right arm dangling and you're on your left elbow. And we're just gonna explore some sweeping movement here. So you can sweep your arm over your ear and then sweep it down again. Take a few of these movements and you can stay if you like, looking under your right armpit, or you can drop. There's quite a lot of freedom in this movement. Lovely swing. Wonderful if you've got tension in the shoulders. And then dropping that right arm and we'll change sides. Swinging the left arm, bringing it over. Swinging it around, bringing it over. You can stay if you like. Swinging it around, bringing it over. One more breath in. And on the breath out, push yourself to star. That's the last goddess, my legs can feel it. I don't know about yours. Take a breath in here, and then on the breath out, windmill yourself down to the front of your mat and bring yourself to a downward dog. Downward dog. And explore anywhere you can find more opening, more space in this dog. Try lifting your toes and see what that does. Try pressing into the base of your thumb and forefinger and see what that does. For me, it rolls my shoulders out, separates the shoulder blades, creates strength in my triceps, rather than everything being in the biceps. Wonderful. And then on the next breath in, rippling forwards to plank. Hold here. Take another breath in and then choose your way down to the mat. I'm going to drop my knees, but you might be in a mood to come down straight as a stick. And then come all the way down and rest with your hands underneath your forehead. 
And soften the body now, soften the body. Particularly soft at the back of your ribs and your shoulders and your forehead. Breathe and breathe and breathe. And when you're ready, bringing your fingertips out so they're level with your shoulders. Elbows are pointing up, so about a 90 degree angle in the elbows. See how this shape, it's like a sort of praying mantis type shape, does actually release around the shoulders a bit. Can you feel that? Move around a little bit. And then on the next breath in, peel your chest up. Bring your head up last. A little bit of a higher cobra like this. And breathe out, look over your left shoulder. Maybe you can see your right foot. And then breathe and come back to the center. And breathe out, look over your right shoulder. Maybe you can see your left foot. And then breathe in, come back to the center. And slowly, slowly on the breath out, come all the way down. Release the hands down by your ribs, elbows into the body. And when you're ready, pushing up to all fours. Downward duck. So we're just transitioning to standing. So from your downward dog, either walk or step your feet forwards into a forward fold. Let's take one half forward fold. So breathe in and find length. Really lengthen the spine. Lovely long back of the legs. And breathe out here. Take another breath in. And then breathe out, come all the way down. And then pressing through your feet, breathe in and sweep yourself all the way up. And breathe out, arms down by your sides. And how are you feeling? And do a little bit of balancing, not too much. And the strange thing is, is that we did one of the hardest balances, half moon already. So it's not strictly a one-legged balance, slightly different. So feeling down through to your feet. And as you breathe in, lift your arms up and lift your heels. Just to check in with your balance today. And as you breathe out, slowly come back down. Remember balancing is all about fixing your eyes softly on one spot. Breathe in, come up. And breathe out, come down. Last time, breathe and come up to stay. And breathe out here. You can interlace your hands if you like, four fingers reaching up towards the ceiling, arms behind your ears. And breathe, dragging your tailbone down and lifting your pubic bone. And finding as much length in the side body as possible. Don't stop breathing, I just did. And I take a full breath in and on the breath out, release. Arms by your sides, feet firmly placed on the floor. Mm. I'm feeling good. I'm gonna come to simple balance tree. So left leg is firm, spread your toes, take the right knee out and choose where this foot is gonna go. Is it gonna stay in the foreleg? Please don't take the heel into the knee. Or are you gonna come all the way up? Choose the place for your eyes to rest. And lift your arms up and you could have your arms separate. You could take that mudra again with your four fingers reaching towards the ceiling, the other fingers interlaced. And try a little thing here. Try drawing the side waist back, tucking the tailbone under, and then draw in, gather in from the sides of your hips. Drawing into the center like you're condensing through the hips. And then breathe and find your stillness here.
finding your sweet spot. One more breath in and breathe out release. Noticing the quality that that balance brings. There's a stillness to balancing. I'm taking the left knee out, heel in towards the ankle or foot to the lower leg, but coming all the way up. And like with the other standing poses today, try and lift your toes away from the floor and press to the heels and the ball of the foot. And floating your arms up. If you have interlaced your hands the first time, change the thumb that's over the top this time, reaching your forefingers up. And all those same instructions to condense into the hips, pressing the foot into the inner leg. And breathe and find space and stillness. One more breath in, come back to pull out and then breathe out, gently come out. And take a moment to feel the body. Just notice how you're feeling. And we'll take a very delicate, brief dancer's pose. Lovely and strong down through the right left leg. Take your right foot behind you. Try to keep your knees together, heel into the center of your buttock. Lift the left arm. Now this might be enough for you tonight and this is fine. You can stay here. Or maybe float into your expression of dancer, the weight coming forwards, pushing the foot into the hand and pulling the hand into the foot. Maybe finding a slight back bend, maybe not. Find your breath. And then gently come out and float the foot down. Take a breath in between and we'll bring that to the other side. This time the left foot is behind, knees are together. A little bit of a softness in the standing knee. Lift your right arm up, find space, breathe in, maybe stay here. Maybe come forwards a little bit or further. It's up to you. Find the fluidity of your breath. One more breath in. Breathe out, release. And just take a moment now, eyes closed. Maybe a hand over your chest, a hand over your belly. And feel the earth beneath your feet, solid ground beneath your feet. And see if you can have a sense of breathing with the space around you, breathing with your room, breathing with your day. Beautiful. And then opening your eyes, if you have a block or a blanket having it handy, and taking a breath in with your hands to your hips, lovely and long and straight. And breathe out, come down halfway. We have that length, we have the strength of our legs. And take another breath in. And then come all the way down. You know what's really nice actually, I haven't taught this for a while, is you can take fists into your hip creases so that when you come down, your abdomen presses into your fists and you get a little bit of a massage here. If that doesn't feel nice for you, release your hands. Otherwise, let's take five breaths.
breathing space into the back of the body and again pouring your weight into the front of the feet balls of the feet lovely and then breathing in just lift up halfway we're going to come into a squat you might need the block for your heels or you might not you might want to take your feet a little bit further apart and your toes pointing out. And then we come down into a squat. Hands together in front of the heart space. Lovely long in the spine and spacious across the collarbones. Can you allow your energy and weight to pour down through your tailbone, through your sitting bone? So you feel that sense of drop, but at the same time, there's a lift up the front of your spine and there's a smile on your face. I can see it. Let's take five more breaths here. Taking a breath in, and as you breathe out, release your hands. You can take them behind you. Coming to a cross-legged position. Coming to a cross-legged position. So you can really feel your sitting bones and lift up out of the pelvis. Really staying with your intention, staying with your inner focus. And as you breathe in, press into the knees and tilt forwards and open your chest. And as you breathe out, scoop back, belly to the spine. And as you breathe in, gently tilt forwards. And as you breathe out, back and you might like to continue this pelvic rocking or maybe on your next exhalation you lift your crossed ankles and your hands out in front of you you change the cross to come down and you inhale and you rock forwards and you exhale you come up cross Change the cross and inhale, rock forwards. And this time maybe you bring your, you separate your feet into half boat. Maybe you stay a breath or two. And you inhale and you rock forwards. Maybe for this last one, you come up to half boat or maybe you come to full boat. And you breathe and you relax the face and you feel the strength of the whole body. One more breath in and then breathing out, rock forwards, maybe taking your forearms down. And softening for a moment, all of those, you might want to wriggle around a bit, softening all those muscles around the lower back. We'll take a brief Janusha Shasana before coming to our backs. So we're taking out your left leg, right foot in towards the thigh. You might need to bend that left knee or sit up on something. And then looking towards the left foot, breathe in and reach and find length. And breathe out, come down as far as is right for you. You don't have to hold onto the foot, absolutely fine to bend the knee you have restricted movement in the pelvis and then take a few breaths but very internalized very soft we're coming to the end of the practice can 
Can you drop into that right hip? One more breath in and a long breath out. And bring yourself back up. We'll take Janushashasana to the other side. And breathing in, find that length, bending that knee if you need to. And breathing out, coming over the right leg, reaching for the foot or not. And take a few breaths and just explore your way into the pose. There's nowhere to go, there's nothing to achieve here. Breathe. Mm, we're taking one more breath in and a breath out. And gently bringing yourself up. And coming to lie on your back. Coming to lie on your back. Come to the end of the practice. And just for a moment, walk your feet out so they're mat distance apart and your knees drop into the centre. Your arms can be in cactus arms if you like. And in your own way, in your own time, take a few windshield wiper movements for your legs. So dropping both knees to the left. Your eyes go to the right and then slowly come up, head comes to neutral and then rock over to the right, your head to the left. So this is just a way of rinsing the hips and the pelvis. Take a few and I'd recommend not being in a hurry. Very soft in the face now. Soothing out the lower back. Gentle twist for the spine. And at some point, bringing your knees in towards you. Doing a little roll around, a little massage for your lower back. It's time for Shavasana and I'm going to leave you recommending that you stay for 10 minutes, having a deep rest, make sure you're warm enough. And as you come down into your relaxation pose, you can start your relaxation by recalling that quality you wanted to bring into your practice. And settling in with that, so you settle and you drop with that into sensation, into the breath. And surrender yourself to gravity. And I hope you've enjoyed the practice. I'll be back in the morning, 7 till 9. Tomorrow night is yin, 7 to 8.30. Saturday yoga, 9 to 10.30. Thank you so much for joining me. Please have a rest.